from across America, the Monsters are on your TV. This time to Carter Finley Stadium, Raleigh, North Carolina. Outdoors, this is Monster Truck Challenge, featuring the best monster trucks in the world, including the homecoming to North Carolina of the Carolina Crusher and Gary Porter. And for the first time during this season, Dennis Anderson aboard the Grave Digger. It's all coming up next here on Monster Truck Challenge on ESPN, the Total Sports Network. and welcome to another round of Monster Truck Challenge. We're in Raleigh, North Carolina this week, and look who's back with us. On his feet again, Dennis Anderson of Gravedigger fame. The leg has been injured, but now it's healed. Yeah, it's, uh, my leg's not 100% yet, but um, it will be because my leg's come a long ways in the last uh, six weeks. Uh, I've been out on the road uh, six weeks now testing this new truck, trying to get it dialed in so we could come in here and run with these elite fleet guys here, you know, and we're just going to give them all we got tonight. But it's got to feel great to be back out here. It really does. You know, I was, I was kind of stuck there at home, but being home, it wasn't all that bad. I, I, got a lot of, I got a lot of plans for the future while I was home. I had time to sit down and think about what I was doing, and it really gave me some time off off of the road mainly, and it uh, gave me a lot of good time with my family, too. You're going to dig a grave this weekend for somebody? I tell you, we might not dig a grave for them, but we're going to start a <laughs> hole for them anyway. There you go. Dennis Anderson of Grave Digger fame. Going to try his luck this week in Raleigh, North Carolina. Let's go trackside. Here's Joe Lowe. Thank you, Ken. A great night for racing at Carter Finley Stadium in Raleigh, North Carolina. Under the stars, ready to rock and roll. And here's the reigning world champion, Jackie Wilman and Taurus in his qualifying run. But Jackie is worried because the man is here in his home state and he's back in the saddle. Dennis Anderson and the Gravedigger are fastest qualifier. Dennis back with us on Monster Truck Challenge, driving a brand new Gravedigger after a knee injury that kept him out the early part of this season. Our Jim Clark is with Dennis Anderson, and they talk about tonight's race. Dennis Anderson, Gravedigger, your first big race since uh, your injury, and you're back here in Raleigh, North Carolina as the fastest qualifier tonight. Yeah, I tell you, that makes me feel kind of proud, you know, because I've been out for a while. I've been doing a little hit and miss races here and there, trying to get the truck, the bugs worked out. It's a new truck. Um, but I tell you, I'm really proud of myself right now because I came out and I pulled off the fastest qualifying. And uh, I'm running against some tough guys out here. I mean, the competition is tough. The main thing is just trying to hold myself back, control myself, so I don't pull too hard of a whole shot and get too much air off that first pile. If I can keep her down on the ground making tracks, we'll beat them. Same old Dennis, and of course, as the fastest qualifier, he gets lane choice all night. First round, he'll go against Bill Weaver and Rambo. The Keystone Cruncher and Dan Petrick going against David Morris and the Equalizer. Rob Fuchs and First Blood is up against the Black Stallion. Torrance takes on Carolina Crusher. And that's our first round matchups. Let's go down to the track where the Grave Digger is lining up against Rambo. Dennis Anderson in his first race of the 1992 season with a brand new track and the crowds letting him know they're behind him in his home state. Bill Weaver out of New York ready to go aboard Rambo. He knows the Grave Digger is going to be a tough competitor in this first round competition. Here's a good shot of Bill Weaver. Hastings, New York, his hometown. He's piloting Rambo. Rambo, Grave Digger side by side. They square off for round number one. Dennis Anderson popping a wheelie after the first set of cars. Rambo digging down in the dirt. Things flying all over the place. And the wind goes to Grave Digger. Dennis Anderson back on this 92 circuit. Look at that truck. A brand new truck. 
the driver been studying he's ready to go and dennis anderson buries rambo in round number one a lot of bouncy bounce for bill weaver but that more bounce to the ounce doesn't get you anywhere when you're going up against the high flying grave digger what is that that flew off the rambo truck there well, Bill himself was looking down there to see what it was. We saw it fly off. It seemed to be some kind of a cover. Our next round matchup between Rob Fuchs and First Blood, the big Ford out of Woodstock, Illinois. Rob's been doing real well on Monster Truck Challenge for 92. He goes up against the Black Stallion, Mike Botters, out of Hagerstown, Maryland. This is going to be a great matchup between these two Ford pickups. The monsters are ready. We're ready to go. Look at that pump of smoke coming out of Black Stallion. Woo! Black Stallion. A lot of smoke, but a win. In a photo finish against First Blood. And both of them down there on the, on the end of the track looking to see what the track officials have called it. The United States Hot Rod officials have said the win that goes to Black Stallion. You can see he has a nice lead there, but a puff of smoke. And Rob Fuchs with first blood almost catches him. Black Stallion holds on for the win. Let's check for the smoke now. There you see the right side of the engine. He backs off going over the first set of cars. When he gives it the gas again, again some more smoke comes out. This may spell the sign of trouble for later on tonight. But right now, advancing to round number two, Black Stallion with a win over First Blood. And here comes the Carolina Crusher, Gary Porter, going against the reigning world champion, Jackie Wilman and Torres out of Granite City, Illinois. But this is Carolina Crusher's home state. And the crowd loves to see Gary Porter at a Wadesboro, North Carolina. He wants to win badly as he goes up against Torrance. Their stage, it's showtime. And a hole shot for the Crusher, but Torrance sails on to victory with a come from behind. Gary Porter had to think he had that one with that hole shot, but I tell you, this guy Jackie Wilman can out horsepower just about anybody. He's a great driver, and his truck is up to the competition. Look at this. Over the second set of cars is where it was won as cars clears that entire second set. And it's pretty clear right there, the win goes to Torrance. They're neck and neck right here. Jackie's just driving. He's not even looking at the competition. But boom, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine car lanes. And the win for Torrance. Our next matchup. The Keystone Cruncher against the Equalizer. Here's Dan Patrick at a Circleville, Ohio, and Keystone Cruncher going up against David Morris at a Springfield, Tennessee, and Gary Cook's Equalizer. Gary Cook and David Morris making up a great Equalizer racing team. The two Chevys are lined up. It's showtime in Raleigh. And I think Keystone had him. He did. He had him on the line, and he goes on to pick up the win. The Keystone Cruncher surprises the Equalizer and gets a win in Raleigh. Dan Patrick, one happy son of a gun right now. Watching it on the slow-mo cam. You can see the Equalizer had the whole shot. And Cruncher comes from behind. And Dan Patrick is up there playing with the big boys aboard the Keystone Cruncher. And he joins Gravedigger, Black Stallion, and Taurus as they move to round number two on Monster Truck Challenge. Ken? So the round of eight produces one major surprise. Keystone, with Dan Patrick at the wheel, moves on to the round of four. Keystone was the slowest of all the qualifiers. But taking advantage of that engine trouble that Equalizer had, Keystone moves on to the next round. Gravedigger is there. He's the local favorite. We'll see how he does when we move to the semifinals when Monster Truck Challenge continues here on ESPN in just a moment.
Welcome back, everybody, to Raleigh, North Carolina for the Monster Truck Challenge. Our guest this week, back on his feet, Dennis Anderson from Kill Devil Hills, North Carolina. Tell me about the truck, because obviously it looks great. It's a new truck, though, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I'll tell you, I've been out, uh, I've been out and uh, ran about six weeks with it, and it was uh, more or less like an exhibition deal that I was doing. It was testing the truck and dialing it in, and uh, we've got the truck pretty much dialed in now. So you've had a chance to see what it would behave like and now you're ready to i guess tackle the big boys huh right you know this is our uh this is our point series and uh these races all my races are serious but this is really a super serious race for me here this sport has gotten so competitive over the last few years that you really can't predict well this truck is going to do well this year it's going to do well this year the, the, the variables in this sport have completely changed haven't they it really has, you know, the, just the design of the trucks, uh, all of our rules and regulations, you know, everything has changed and, it's, and it is. It's really a super competitive sport now. Where do you see this sport going? What, where's the future going to take this sport? I'll tell you, it's, it's going to come down to, uh, I, I feel like it'll come down to something like NHRA drag racing, and which it's almost there. In my book, it's there now, you know, but uh, it's, it's going to really, it's, we just we're going to get a lot of exposure with it these guys are really getting really technical with the trucks it used to be that you just put this big piece of iron together and come out and let's crush cars well it's not like that anymore i mean we're still using the cars to crush with because it's a monster truck but these are real true blue racers now these things are going to have wings and fly here before long yeah you aren't kidding about that now we're getting them light you know and uh we've got a weight restriction right now you know but uh these trucks are really light they're fast but they're good trucks listen take care of that leg too no more adventures Okay. Dennis Anderson, Kill Devil Hills, and of course the truck, as you know, is the Grave Digger. Now, when we come back, we'll see how he does when Monster Truck Challenge continues from Raleigh, North Carolina, in just a moment. Back, everybody, to Raleigh. Great crowd tonight, and it should be. This is great Monster Truck action. And a surprise now as we hit the semifinals. Keystone has a bad tire. That puts Equalizer back in the semifinals, and Equalizer has to tangle with Gravedigger. Not an enviable task. Let's go trackside. Here's the voice of Monster Truck Challenge. Here's Joe Lowe. Thank you, Ken Brew. And here's the guy who had the tough break already tonight. He's Dan Patrick, drives Keystone Cruncher. And he had a great run as he defeated the Equalizer. But things happen tire problem and jim clark caught up with him dan patrick uh, misfortune came your way what happened well in the last round we must have pinched the o-ring in the back rim and when i backed up and and went to turn the truck around to line up it pinched it again and just blew the ring out so we lost all the air and uh, we usually carry plenty of parts everything you need to fix a truck but we just didn't have the time to repair this all right well sorry to hear it and uh, better luck next time hey that's racing you know some nights you don't get the good luck but uh we'll be back again and we'll have good luck the next time so it's equalizer back from the grave against the grave digger and speaking of that dennis anderson is with jim clark are you going to do anything different on your next run because of the track i don't know i just need to kind of watch these other trucks go now that i got a little bit of time to to watch them because i was the first pack out so i get a chance to watch these guys i want to see a four-link truck go in the other lane i've got lane choice so I can switch lanes tonight, and uh, I'll just have to see what these other guys look like in the other lane over here. All right, well, congratulations, and good luck again. All right, thanks. Dennis Anderson back in the grave digger against the Equalizer. The Equalizer being plagued tonight by engine problems, and Dennis Anderson comes from behind and picks up a win, win number two for the digger, a tough break and a valiant effort on the part of David Morris and the Equalizer. And the crowd loves to see the digger. He just keeps on winning. Now, we weren't sure what to expect from David Morris. You see the puff of smoke. And this is where Dennis really turns it on. The Equalizer just can't keep up with the brand new and hot running Grave Digger. And Dennis Anderson, a force to be reckoned with here in Raleigh as he goes on to our championship round. Now, David Morris, remember, he lost to Keystone Cruncher. He didn't even think he was going to come back. He was having some engine problems. Cruncher could not answer the call, and David comes back, gives it his all, and not a bad run. But he's going against the grave digger, after all, and uh, 
Hey, that's a tall order in anybody's book. Here's the Black Stallion Taurus matchup. Mike Botters was having some trouble in Black Stallion earlier with a lot of smoke. Doesn't seem to be having that much problem right now. All right, Michael Batters, driver of Black Stallion. Uh, great run. You're going up against Taurus. Tell us about the last run and uh, any strategy you're going to use up against Taurus. Uh, first blood, he was real tough. I thought he had me there, but uh, Taurus, he's going to be a tougher round for me. We're just going to give it everything we got. How about lanes? Uh, are you going to get your choice of lane? And if so, which lane would you prefer? I believe Taurus has lane choice on this next ra uh, race, and uh, I think uh, I think he's I think he's got lane choice. I think he's going to probably stick me on the left lane. What are what's the difference between the lanes here tonight? Uh, they're both pretty equal. Uh, everybody's been favored in the right lane. Well, Michael, everybody's favored in the right lane, and Jackie Wellman and Taurus have lined up in that right lane. Jack Woman Jr. and Taurus going into the semis up against the Black Stallion. Yeah, uh, we uh, seem to be working pretty good tonight, and uh, Black Stallion, he's a hard runner, so we're going to have to give it what we got here on this next one. You got your choice of lanes. Uh, where are you headed? I'm going to stay in the right lane. There's definitely a difference on the lanes, and uh, I'm going to stick with that right lane. What is the difference, Jack? Well, the uh, uh, left lane, the first set of cars throws you way up in the air, and uh, that's the whole key is getting over them. So I'm going to stick with the lane I've been running good in, and I feel pretty confident, and I believe I'll, I'll do good. We're set to go. Taurus and Black Stallion side by side. The Ford Black Stallion, the Chevy Taurus. And uh-oh, smoke problems on that second set of cars. For Black Stallion, Jackie Wilman again out horsepowers him. Black Stallion, right when he approached that second set of cars, had a big puff of smoke. He seemed to lose a lot of power. And Jackie Wilman doing what he's done so well tonight, sailing across that second set of cars and into victory. He'll face the Gravedigger in our final. This Jackie Wilman can drive. Over that first set, he said he wanted to take it easy. He pours it on as he approaches the second set, clears him, and comes up with a win against the Black Stallion. So it's a Gravedigger Taurus final here in Raleigh. Meanwhile, it looks like it's back to the shop for Black Stallion. He needs some engine work. That right side still smoking. So he'll go to the shop. And we'll go on to the finals in Raleigh. And I guess it's only fitting that Torres and Gravedigger meet in the finals. They were the two fastest qualifiers. And remember, Gravedigger was only two hundredths of a second quicker than Torres back in qualifying. This ought to be a final deluxe. And we'll have it for you in a second when Monster Truck Challenge continues right here on ESPN. Everybody at Wigan Raleigh for the conclusion, the grand finale between Taurus and Gravedigger. But before we get to that final, let's look back and see how each got here. After qualifying, it went to side-by-side -side action, and Gravedigger, the number one qualifier, edged out Rambo. Then it was first blood in Black Stallion, Black Stallion winning that one. So Black Stallion and Gravedigger advance. Then Jack Willen Jr. behind the wheel of Taurus, easily beat the Carolina Crusher. Taurus got to the final. And Keystone beat out Equalizer. But in somewhat of a twist, Keystone winds up with a flat tire. That put Keystone out of the running and the Equalizer back in. The Equalizer going against Gravedigger was no match. Gravedigger beats the Equalizer, Taurus beats Black Stallion, and there you have the final, Gravedigger against Taurus. The crowd waving to our ESPN cameras here in Raleigh for this final. It's Digger and Torres. And for the first time tonight, Jackie Wilman and Torres is in the left lane. Digger's going to have the uh, choice of lanes here. You're probably going to end up on the left, correct? Yeah, I'm going to end up running in the lane, and I haven't run all night, so it's going to be a new experience. And uh, I think I got a little bit better truck than the, those who's been running in that lane, so... I'm just going to see if I can get the truck down in the best respect I can. I saw you over there kind of surveying your lane. Uh, did you see anything interesting? No, it's just that first set of cars really wants to throw you up in the air, and I'm just going to try to see what I can do and get over him, and I'll give him a run for his money. Well, good luck to you and Taurus in the finals. Thank you. Appreciate it. Jackie Wilman talking lane choice. Of course, everybody's talking lane choice tonight, including this guy. Dennis Anderson, the grave digger. He was our fastest qualifier, and uh, he does get lane choice here tonight. All right, Dennis Anderson, the digger. Uh, been a successful night going into the finals up against Taurus. 
Hey, I tell you, Jackie's been laying down some good runs. We had some real close qualifying runs. And uh, I think he finished up second fastest. I was the first fastest. Uh, I do have lane choice over him. He's favoring this right lane. He hadn't run that left lane all night. So maybe I can get the edge on him, throw him in that left lane over there. I'm kind of used to this lane. But uh, all we got to do is keep her cool. Every time it comes down to the finals, he's pretty aggressive, and so am I. And uh, we just got to come over that first pile of cars and get her planted on the ground and go for it. The aggressive opinions of Dennis Anderson, plan them and go. And here he is in his home state of North Carolina. We're set for the final, Taurus and Gravedigger. When we get the green light, it's showtime, and there it goes. Taurus with a big lead, but look, he has trouble on the second set, and Dennis Anderson and the Gravedigger wins it. The win in his home state for the first time out in the 92 season of a brand new truck. Dennis Anderson and the Gravedigger. And here's how it was done. Off the line, it was Taurus. Dennis said he was going to plant him and go. Here he does. He passes him in the air. The win goes to Dennis Anderson and the Gravedigger. From this angle, you can see there's some problems. Not right here, but when he plants him and goes right here. Look, you'll see some sparks. And it looks as though the drive shaft fell out of it. But Dennis was already in the air, already airborne. He gets the win. Dennis Anderson and the Gravedigger go on to win it here in Raleigh. Jackie Wellman spinning on the line. He did get the hole shot. He comes off bobbles right here. This is very uncharacteristic for Taurus as he just sort of limps across, takes out the finish line pole, and struggles to keep it under control. Whoa. What a race. Great job, Joe, on the call. Unbelievable finish and a great night here in front of the home state crowd for Dennis Anderson from Kill Devil Hills, North Carolina. It is the gravedigger that wins it all. All right, back with some final thoughts here from North Carolina in just a minute. For Dennis Anderson from Kill Devil Hills, North Carolina, a phenomenal night here in front of the home state crowd. Let's not wait any longer. Let's go to Jim Clark. He's standing by with the winner, Jim. Congratulations, Dennis Anderson. Big win here in Raleigh. Yeah, I tell you, I knew it was going to be a tough finals there, and uh, I kind of I pushed her a little bit harder than I've been pushing it all night, but I knew I had to do it to beat uh, Jackie Wilman with Taurus because uh, he kind of drives like I do, buddy. He just lets her go, you know, and... Uh, I was here to win. I'm glad I could win in my home state. We had a bunch of fans here tonight, a real good crowd. And uh, I tell you, I couldn't have pulled it off without the guys back at the shop, my crew, uh, my engine builder, uh, Jim Stack, as he's done a fine job. The motor's really got a lot of power for us this year. Auto meter's been helping us out. Good year. They've really helped us out on a new set of tires. And uh, good year's going to be helping us out the rest of the season here. And uh, we couldn't do it without all those guys. Competition was so neck and neck with you and Taurus on that last run. Uh, it was almost hard to tell who won. Yeah, I tell you, that's that's how these courses are. You know, we get outdoors. Uh, the trucks get stretched out a little bit farther then. But um, this is an outdoor course, but it's not as long as some of the courses we run on. But I tell you, when it comes down to the top six trucks, the four-length trucks is racing right now for the point series. Um, it's it's really hard to call a winner. You know, we've got six main trucks, and it's any it's any dog's day. All right. Well, listen, congratulations, and uh, good luck to you in the future. All right. Thanks a lot. Dennis Anderson put on the show, and Monster Truck Challenge was happy to bring it to you. We'll see you down the road next time. For everybody here in Raleigh, North Carolina, I'm Ken Brew. Thanks for watching.